Good morning. I want to speak again to you, and even as I'm speaking to you, the word is don't hold on, let go. Don't hold on, let go. Let Jesus take your sins and your mistakes, your problems and your death. We started this month with a series on resurrection. And so this is my message just to help you understand what I'm telling you not to hold on. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all of you who labor and have heavy, are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and, and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Don't hold on, let go. It is important for us to understand that many times we come to God and we come to God to pour our hearts. In a Holy Communion service, we say all our problems, we send the cross of Christ. All our difficulties, we send the cross of Christ. And all those things, all the devil's work. God wants us to go and offload on him, to release ourselves on him. And a time comes when we find ourselves with yokes that cannot be carried, burdens that we cannot bear. But God is calling us to come and release ourselves to him. In John chapter 1 verse 29, John the Baptist, when he saw Jesus coming towards him, he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He spoke that meaning that this is the Lamb of God or this is the, uh, the Lamb of God who will take away all our problems, will take away all our sins and accusations. In the book of Leviticus chapter 16, he talks about the law of the scapegoat, how the scapegoat was put. A scapegoat is that animal, a goat, but it's an animal that takes away the sins of people. And there was a ritual where the animal would be put, the animal would be brought, and people would lay hands on it and release their sins and speak whatever they are speaking. And as they laid hand and they said whatever they said, the goat was supposed to be led by a reliable hand into the desert so that it can be left there to die of thirst and whatever. And while it goes, people were happy that they have laid their problems on the goat because it was a scapegoat. Nowadays we have people who say, these people are just using me as a scapegoat. When there is a blame and some a scapegoat is looked for, in many companies that is what sometimes they do. But this is what I'd like to say. We have Jesus who wants to take away our burdens. The yoke, because a yoke is something that holds your neck and you can't go beyond. There's somebody that is willing to do that, and that is Jesus himself. Because the Bible tells us, by his, but, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement that was to, to, for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. He took the weight, he took the burden, and he released it on us. And he took it from us. And he said, take my yoke upon you, because my burden is light. Let us pray. Father, bless us this day. Grant us your peace and grant us your favor. And may your blessings flow in our lives afresh. Help us to let go and let God, because we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.